Hi, time to charge up the veteran Sherman. And I uh, thought I'd just walk you through the simple process. There's a couple interesting aspects to this, and then I'll give you an idea of how long it takes to actually charge this uh, monster up. So the first thing is that we have the stock charger, and this is a five amp charger that comes in the box. This is a Gotway charger, three amp. I got this one with my MSP. Clearly made by the same company as they both have the same model number, YZ Power-450. Except this is three amp and this is five amp. Again, some commonality between Gotway and uh, Veteran. So I've been charging at eight amps just because I, I have the two chargers. There's two charge ports on the wheel and I, I don't know what the max input to the wheel is, but I have to think it's 10 amps because uh, this is the stock charger from Veteran and I assume if you wanted to use, use, use both ports, you would buy a second one from them. And I just have to believe the second one would be another one of these. It just makes sense. But I've been charging eight amps, which is uh, plenty fast. Uh, let's see now, when you do plug these 100 volt chargers in the wall, I know it's particularly with this 5 amp one, do it with vigor. Plug this in fast, because if you kind of just plug it in slowly, you're going to get a giant spark. Uh, there's already some metal missing from uh, <laughs> this plug. So I should do that myself. Plug them both in. Okay, the wheel is on and I'm going to turn it off to demonstrate something. So normally you would have the wheels off when you charge them. And I'm going to plug the charger in. And you can see now that fan is out of the charger but you can see the wheel turn on but it's not balancing and this also tells me that the charging is going through the control board like King Song wheels unlike Gotway where the control board has nothing to do with the charging of the wheel so it's fully on except not balancing you see this this uh, rear light is on and you can turn that off by just tapping the power button and that's what you do, by the way, when you're riding the wheel. If you don't want the light on, you just tap the power button. And then this display is also backlit. So if you happen to be charging this in a dark room and for some reason you don't want these lights on, you can turn this off. And through the menu system here, you can turn off the backlight on the LCD but you're not gonna be able to turn off the fan on the charger. And this wheel is fully on. If the wheel is warm, the control, the fans on the control board will be running too. And you can't turn those off. Now, one other oddity about this, this setup, and uh, I suggested that E-Wheels try and get, get the veteran to change his behavior, but when you are done charging and you unplug the wheel, the wheel turns on. Or I should say it, it's already on, but it starts balancing. This could be an issue if you charge your wheels on a stand where your, your tire is off the ground. You don't, you don't think about it, you unplug it, and all of a sudden the wheel activates. It happened to me once. And then hold on for dear life as this thing speeds up to 100 kilometers per hour and uh, shuts down. <laughs> so let me plug this in again. Turn the wheel off. Let's see. Actually, I didn't turn it off, and you saw as soon as I plugged it in. Let me do that again. So it's on, plug it in, and it stops 
balancing. Plug in the gateway. And uh, you can see uh, the more amps pumping into this, the faster this bar graph animates. So that's kind of cool. I wanted to give you an idea how long it takes to uh, charge this up from, from nothing. As you uh, may have known now that I did a full range test, so I actually ran this down to 76 volts, which is equivalent to zero battery. And I charge it up with these two chargers. And uh, I'll have this, I'll put this uh, mini chart in the description of the video if you want to look at it later. But uh, just a few notes I made as it was charging up. Uh, so again, at zero battery, there's one bar displayed on, on the, the panel. In one and a half hours, it was at uh, five bars. Two and a half hours, it was at seven bars. Three and a half hours, it was at eight bars. And, uh, and I noticed 98.1 volts. Uh, four hours, it was at, it was at 99.1. Four and a half, it was at 99.4. And at five hours, it was 99.5. And uh, the voltage never goes above 99.5. And uh, and at this time, the, the internal when I did that charge, the internal fan was running on the on the control board. At about six hours, that turned off. So I think for about an hour, the BMS was probably balancing uh, the cells, and uh, and then it was done. So you get you can get ninety nine. So again, ninety nine point five is full. So in four hours, you can get pretty close to 100% charge and if you just want to get that last bit five hours and you're done and if you had two of these 5 amp chargers plugged in uh, you could obviously cut this down even better so you can really charge this guy up fast if you want which is great okay hope this was uh, useful and uh, see you later